Hello everyone, it's the Amber Nosh. And we're back on the AnnieChart.net website once again. Because the upcoming anime season is upon us for summer 2023. We have a lot to check out. And uh, this time, I'm not alone. I have brought my breast anime friendo along for the ride. You want to introduce yourself, anime friendo? Hello, hello. My name is Vent, aka Advent, or also known Vent. How are you guys doing? And if he has any like uh, social media stuff, we'll have it in the description below. If you're uh, in if you're interested in this guy over here, <laughs> but uh, he he's just a guy that I casually talk to about anime on Discord. And uh, actually, before this, we were talking a lot about anime. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Time. We'll get right on into it, because otherwise this could go on, and, uh, yeah. So, we're going to start off with the first one. Which we see here is Jujutsu Kaisen second season. Yes. Which I know, uh, you have- you've had some things to say, and, uh, this is supposed to be about the, uh, Shibuya arc, right? Um, yeah, something like that, yes. Yeah, and they have a picture of Gojo, and we have a picture of uh, the villain himself that I've kind of already forgotten the name of, if you remember his name. <laughs> I forgot his name, too. <laughs> I, oh, shoot. He was, he was literally in the entire season one and the movie, and I still and don't movie. remember his name. That is true. Oh, God, that's a good start. I still don't remember his- he's important too, and it's like- I feel like it's in the back of my brain. Anyway, so let Ghetto. me- Ghetto, that's what it was, ah oh, shit. Yeah, he was important in both season one and the movie. Still couldn't yes. remember it. That's it's like that, bro. I- I- that, that's life, I guess. Yes. Okay, well guess we should uh check out the trailer Ooh, because there's trailer. no yes because there is uh there is no synopsis because otherwise i would do the synopsis all right here we are jujutsu Se kaisen season two official trailer don't kill me toei animation animation please <laughs> <laughs> We all love Gojo. We do. <laughs> There's Ghetto. There's Ghetto. There's Ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> oh, look at Gojo. He's just going off. Look at how beautiful the graphics look, bro. I know. That's just Mappa, though, you know? Yeah, the Mappa goes overboard with every... Oh my god, that scene game. looks really good. Oh my god. You guys are in for a surprise in that Are part. we having a fight of Gojo versus him in here, too? Oh god, I, I don't know if we can show this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, nothing was shown, so you should be good at Meant to protect each other? Mm -hmm. I saw the subtitle there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how much of this is gonna be shown, but... Because I don't know how much they want to kill me. Oh, Gojo. Getting all the ladies. I mean, just look at him, bro. Ooh. Not zenning anymore. Now it's Fushigoro. You get that? Yeah, I, I kind of like I from uh, from the second half of season one, right? I know it was mentioned because um, mm -hmm. the Zenin family and the Fushigoro family isn't Zenin like um, is it Maki? Am I thinking that correctly? Yes. Yes, she's from the Zenin family. Maki and her sister. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. The one with the gun. <laughs> yes, the one with the gun. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's what I remember. <laughs> uh, let me swap back that. So, what do you think about that? I think, uh, so we're going to get a more Gojo-centered filled arc, huh? 
Um, yes, so in this arc, uh, we should be able to explore some of their story a little bit and maybe even more. I believe this arc will be good as you can see from the trailer and all the beautiful graphics that MAPA has made. I'm really thankful for MAPA. They go overboard with everything they do. And a uh, key note here is this anime is a two core season, aka it's probably going to be around 24 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, and I'm guessing that will allow us to cover a lot more than probably expected, right? Rather than a 12 episode. Yes. So hopefully you guys can get an insight on what's to come, which is really good. And it's going to surprise a lot of people. Are you one that's like read part of the manga? Is this why you said you guys? Yes. Okay, yes, so. that that makes no spoilers, sense. No spoilers. no spoilers. Okay, good. I don't think anybody likes spoilers. But yeah, that's that's Jujutsu Kaisen second season. Um, that's the trailer. Guess we can move on, and you can see it peeking out over here. <laughs> Moshoku Tensei <laughs> second season. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, and and there's no description, so again, we're probably just gonna. Spoil it. <laughs> but season one was absolutely good i i would say there's like they didn't really have an opening which is the funny part because you know season one didn't have an opening it is kind of it had like kind of like an ost-ish type opening which was kind of kind of strange but cool they had some good music had some if, if you haven't seen season one i have i definitely have that favorite moment Involving a spectacular dragon god. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it is highly recommended. If you haven't seen season one, go see it before you see this one. I'm looking forward to seeing this one. I get why some people didn't get past a certain point, because there's a lot of perverted elements at the start. But obviously, if you can get past that, the follow-up arc is so good. Yeah, yeah. So... I mean, what's a little perversion with isekais? Now, nowadays, they all come, you know, together. Yeah, but... it, it's fan service is just an element that's will be here to stay, unfortunately, right? Mm-hmm. Mushoku Tensei Season 2 trailer reaction. This I cool? actually, I kind of seen the Jujutsu Kaisen one before, but I did not see this one, so I actually do not know what to expect from this one. I haven't seen it yet, so... いいしょ。下には何しに行くんだい天事件に巻き込まれた母を探しに。だから、こんな町の依頼を受けよう。おまいガッ。ワットザイガーズ。あ、ワッツエクスペクティブだ。ノースフリキングゴート。ノースフリ
yeah to find out i'm i'm really looking forward to this one i'm really looking forward to watching it i enjoyed season one it's really fun and hopefully this one is good too and looks beautiful as you can see from the trailer well yeah that was mushoku tensei season two trailer i'm i'm, I'm ready for that you know season one was good that's yeah, I'm looking for it too. Let's go ahead and move on. Let me just and uh look what we off over here. I know you watched this one a little later than I did because I watched it on airtime. Um Horimiya. 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 Yes. I remember Horimiya. It got introduced to me because of you. You recommended, you said it was good, and I decided to give it a try, and I liked it, so. Yes, uh, this is actually a new anime project adapting popular side stories that were left out from the previous adaptation. Which is, uh, I, I, that doesn't explain much, but I'm guessing they left some stuff out. Which I wouldn't have known, because I didn't read the manga or anything, I'm just anime mm. only. And you probably wouldn't have noticed either. So, more Horimiya though? You just, this was announced at... I'm up for it. This was announced at the same time as uh, ReZero Season 3, if you remember. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah, the, I didn't expect this announcement at that time, so... And, uh... Definitely have some more comedy romance, you know? <laughs> you can never have enough comedy romance, you know? But let's see, uh, let's see what the trailer has, you know, entail for us in that case. Yeah, let's go. Alright, Horamiya The Missing Pieces, I like that title. <laughs> Because of what the uh, the synopsis is, the official trailer. Makes trip. sense. Yeah, it's, it's it's such a it's a it's a funny way to put it. But let's see, minute twenty seconds. Let's see. What a Mia. It's funny how we're both silent watching it. <laughs> I, oh, I was jamming out to the music, sorry. <laughs> oh. So he's after the trip. Oh, can I have Kyoko? Oh, okay. What? Huh? Huh? Ooh. Oh, are they graduating? Are they? I, I saw her like holding up the thing and diploma type of thing. Maybe the days are going to be really rich. Okay. I mean, I didn't get much from that, but I, I didn't get so, much from it, but you know, we to the synopsis is just the missing parts that we didn't get on the yeah. anime. I don't know if it means like in between parts or like, you know, left off from where we left off on the ending there. Yeah, so. it might be some parts that they skip just for, you know, episode sake. But I guess we'll find out. I mean, I'll, I'm willing to watch it. It's a romance comedy. I kind of like that. Um, We'll just have to see it because the trailer doesn't say much. Yeah, exactly. So much either, so. But, you know, I'm all for some more romance comedy, you know? It's... I watched Tony Kawa this season, which is good. That's another romance comedy kind of thing, but... Watch what? It's, uh, it's called Tony Kawa. I thought you said Tony Cow, and I'm like, what the Tony Cow! <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't give them ideas. <laughs> okay. If there's an anime about a spider, this is... There could be an anime about a cow, bro, so... Oh, surprised. that will be leading to uh, it's something we'll see down the line as well. Not a spider, but <laughs> <laughs> I saw it there, and uh, yeah. I think I think I know what you mean. The one you mean. Yeah, I think I kind of mentioned it before, but it's not the next one. But that would have been funny if it was, because that would have been a perfect segue. But. <laughs> uh... Up, we have Bleach Part Two. I'm so ready. <laughs> I know you haven't seen part one yet, but man, I yes. I love the shit out of part one. This I is movie. This is movie quality shit here. 
That's what I've heard. I've seen some videos. I need to catch up on this, but everybody's telling me that the graphics of this anime are awesome at way of the sharks. Like, th this is the same studio as Baruto, and we had, like, kind of lower expectations on it. What? Boruto's making that? No, it's the same studio as Baruto. Yeah, that's what I mean. And that's why our expectations were not, like, super secure, but apparently they've been working on this for a year, so... That's why it's it's such good quality. It's not like it's been done in, you know, a short amount of time, but it'll be split into four parts, so this is the second part. First it's a part. Four part? Yeah, it's a four part. Okay. That's so nice. I need to catch up. Yeah, they're just gonna keep you know splitting it over seasons. So like we had the first part back in December. Yeah, so last year in December. And now we're going to have part two here in the summer. And so we'll probably get part three either by depending on the end of this year or the beginning of next year. So nice. that's my guess. But let us take a look at the trailer. I actually have already looked at the trailer, but I'm OK with seeing it again. <laughs> part two, the separation. Well, it might not even be spoils for you. You probably don't even know what's going on, but. The Thousand Year Blood War. Again, YouTube don't kill me. And there's Uryu. This is essentially just, just a basic synopsis of fight against the Quincy's. Okay. Soul Reapers versus Quincy's, essentially. Okay. The Thousand Year Blood War. I will not explain that part, but <laughs> I kind of figured what he's doing over there. They didn't on last season too, uh, not last season before. The opening and ending were cracked for season one. I, I wonder if they're going to use the same one or they're going to do another opening and ending. They should do another opening. This might be the new opening. Who knows? Ah, uh, there's Toshiro. <laughs> yep, that's my favorite. There's an upcoming part that I'm very... Oh, that car, that's pretty cool, too. Everybody's getting more powered up. Like him. A wrestler? Yeah. <laughs> he looks like, right? Yeah. This part is right here is the part that got me interested. Yeah. Isn't that Shinji? Wait, did yeah. you say Bankai? Yep, he did. Apparently, that was not even in the manga. According to the people that read manga, there's like that part's not even in the manga. This is anime exclusive edition. Oh, it looks beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, this and this is this is actually actual quality. Was oh, that the hell form or something like that? July 8th. It's right around the corner, bro. Yeah. But yeah, that's this is part two. Yes, Shinji did say Bankai, which apparently was not in the manga. And that's what a lot of people are just like, oh my god, seriously? I'm surprised I even catch that without not knowing a lot of... Uh, I haven't been able to catch up, but I know about Shinji. I've been actually... And I, like I've been actually like thinking about it. I just like I I because I, I want to see everybody's bankai right and there's and like Shinji was on the list of like we haven't seen his bankai yet because he never used it during the arc with Aizen and, and whatnot and we've, we've kind of rarely seen him after that and so it's just like seeing that is just like ah yes and apparently because you know it was also noted back in part one that the actual you know author uh, Taite Kubo uh, Taite Kubo um is adding anime exclusive content aka he is filling in gaps that was not in the manga that he felt were necessary to fill in as long as it keeps with the story and doesn't break it then it should be fine yeah and this is one of those things shinji's bankai is was apparently not in the manga well i'm looking forward to catching up and seeing this season two yeah it's gonna be great and there's there's a lot more bonkais to definitely be seen too 
because I know there's some we haven't seen. And it'd be great. It'd be great. Great. Not Tony the Tiger great, but great. <laughs> I was able to say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up. Yes, this is a strange one. Maste Mune Kun No Revenge. Second season. I do. Did you see the season one? Yeah. I did. I did. I forgot. I, I forgot about it. <laughs> uh, it's it's still okay. Let me refresh your memory a little bit. It's about this guy, and uh, he gets rejected uh, when he was younger, I guess. Oh, he so tries he to get revenge. To... Yes. Yeah, so he goes up <laughs> yeah. to the mountains to train, and he becomes like a hot guy. Oh and yeah. When he goes to school, so he's plotting his revenge on how to get back to this one girl that rejected him. That's right. Which everybody dubs the Ice Queen, if I'm not mistaken. So it was good. I found it funny. So I think yeah, you guys, if you guys haven't watched it, you should give it a try. Hey, I mean, it's Silverlink Studios, which is uh, they're pretty good for things. And this is another comedy romance, of course. And uh, you know, you've seen season one. Doesn't hurt to see season two. I I yeah. didn't actually expect this to get a season two either. Uh, me neither. It's been so long that I already had forgotten it exists but it may they may cover up to the ending of the of the series you know anything further like have you read anything or is it i yes i do ah. i i read it since i okay we weren't gonna get a season two so i thought you know i mean that was just like into another world with my smartphone season two that we got this year <laughs> <laughs> everybody just like why did this trash get a season two? And it's just like... Yeah, I wasn't well. expecting that to get a season two. And I'm just like, well, I like this trash. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get to the trailer, because there is indeed a trailer. All right, Masamune Kun, Revenge R. I don't know why R, but... That's Masamune right there. Yep, and that's the girl. Adagaki Aki, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, wait! Look at the video. Look at the window, bro. Yeah, she's looking out the window. Yeah. Just notice that. Okay, let's play. Stop giving me copyright material. <laughs> You're gonna have to talk over it or something. La 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 la. la. <laughs> That's probably gonna be the opening too. But yeah, they just put it there. Please, please. But yeah, see, this was this is what happened at the that was what happened at the end of season one. Remember, they did the play together. The play, yes. Oh, who in the heck is that? <laughs> she has a freaking eye patch. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna say nothing. <laughs> is he getting a? Is he getting another member to his harem? I feel like he's in a harem. Uh, just look at his face, and you'll know. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, the name's right. Look at that. Aki. <laughs> Ito go. Miku. Oh, okay. That's a good that's a good VA there. I'm still remembering that swimming arc. When they went to the beach. <laughs> you know, every slice of life has that, right? Yes, every comedy <laughs> anime rum uh how many Romans has one? Oh, look, I mean, not saying, no, that's right. I mean, not saying Nori's in this. I forgot. Yes. I, I forgot she actually is. Uh, it's Rem, right? Yeah, Rem. Yes, Rem. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot she actually played that role. She's in so many different roles. She plays in uh, Dead Mount Deathplay this season. Oh, she does? Yeah, she's uh, one of the main uh, girl characters. She's the crazy the, one? Yeah, she's the Yandere, yes. I kind of figured that's what they're giving her lately. <laughs> she's turning into the new Kirito. She's everywhere, too. All right, so what do you think? What do I think? I don't know what to expect other than that new girl is here, you know? I mean, it might be a fun watch to watch it. Um, it's a romance comedy and he's still out for revenge against this girl um, So it might be fun and you could get a completion out of it. So I'm gonna watch it. When yeah I have some time. Definitely gonna continue watching because I watched season one and I and I didn't hate season one 
Yeah. Don't you don't you watch every anime though? I, do I? I don't know if I have time anymore to do that. There's there's so many a season now. I couldn't even. I'm barely on. Joking. Barely up on this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's getting more and more rough as time goes on because they keep doing more and more adaptations. You know. We're we're about to get out of the sort of get out of the uh, all the sequels because this is just filled with sequels because all those we went through so far are either like sequels or like you know kind of like a sequel aka for Mia was like but... in between <laughs> kind of <laughs> so we can uh, we can move on and uh, next up uh, a new one. Called Zom 100. Zombie ni naru made ni shitai 100 no koto. I'm not gonna. My Japanese sucks, but okay. Bug Film Studios, an action comedy. I don't know what Bug Films is. I've never heard of that studio before in my life. Must be it's a, new, a one. new studio. Yeah, yeah, maybe it is. I'm looking forward to this one. I think you were the one that talked to me about it. Zom 100? I don't think I mentioned yeah. this one. Isn't this the guy that's surrounded by. He's trying to work and he's surrounded by all the zombies and all that. I think you might have looked at that one yourself then. Because I, I, I kind of slightly saw it. But here's the synopsis to this one. <clears throat> Surviving a zombie apocalypse beats being a wage slave any day. After spending years slaving away for a soul-crushing company. Oh. <laughs> oh my Akira... god, I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you would feel that. Akira's yeah. life has lost its luster. He lives in a trash-filled apartment. His pay is abysmal, and he can't even muster up the nerve to confess his love to a beautiful co-worker. Are we sure this isn't just real life? <laughs> <laughs> but when a zombie apocalypse ravages this town, oh great, it gives him the push he needs to live for himself. Now Akira's on a mission to complete all 100 items on his bucket list before he, well, kicks the bucket. I think this is the one that I was that I just mentioned. It seems really interesting. I'm definitely gonna give it a check once it comes out. Well, uh, we can confirm that for you if you want. We have a trailer. <laughs> oh my I, God, we do. Just from that synopsis alone, it just it, it, it makes me think to myself for a second. Here. <laughs> <laughs> but I I don't know. That's so essentially, it's a he has a terrible life. Gets more terrible with the zombie apocalypse. Now he's just trying to complete his bucket list. Yeah, before he dies. Yeah, so... I wonder what... what the, it's an action comedy, so it's comedy. So let's go ahead and uh, see what we can expect here. Oh, look at the subtitle. Gotta work again tomorrow, huh? <laughs> oh, that's me. Oh, God. Oh god! <laughs> no, no, well, that part is not me. Uh, okay. My apartment does not look like that. Ooh! Ooh! Yeah, it's sad slams, man. Oh my god. That beat. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. You're not happy to be here. That's a lie. But that's he's just starting out on that day, so. Oh yeah, everything is turning to a solemn gray. Mm -hmm. My days of the office are. Look at all, all the colors it has. You know, it's so colorful. Even though it's a zombie anime. I'm free. <laughs> that didn't tell me much, but but okay. I mean, I'm I'm gonna give it a check i'm interested in this one because it's not your regular zombie apocalypse whatever it's not your typical like synopsis either it feels a little different from it's not like a you know copy paste of anything it's not, it's like... not like a high school of the dead either so yeah i hope it has the same like style of opening as uh the legendary hero is dead this season because if you heard that opening <laughs> Did he, did he, I have not. If anything, you should no. check out the opening on that one. Yeah. But yes, uh, seemed very interesting from that point, and also down to real life a little bit. <laughs> 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 For a lot of people, probably is like, uh, yeah, some people might find a connection towards it. So, 
it's definitely worth checking out because it's it feels unique mm -hmm. i'm i'm definitely gonna check it out you know are you ready for the next one that you probably want to check oh out? Oh my god, yes, I'm waiting for this one too. You're talking about Rent a Girlfriend season three? Yes, Rent a Girlfriend. <laughs> everybody, everybody says this is trash. But we, hey, we have a new what? girl. <laughs> yeah, they do. What? I, I feel like okay, it's. No. It's. It, oh my god, I'm not even going to start. It's good. It's good. Yeah. It's not, Mommy Chun is the one that. I'm not even gonna say nothing. She belongs on the streets. <laughs> yes, she does. I mean, I'm interested in the new girl right there. You can see her on the image in the back right there. <clears throat> yeah. She has the like the bluish like highlights in her hair. Yeah, I can see. I still don't know who she is. Um, we haven't gotten a lot more information <clears throat> about her. I know you're annoyed by the. To find out. I know you're annoyed by the one below her though. Which one is the one below? You know, there's a particular no. girl in that show that you're annoyed with. That's not. Oh, mommy. yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. It's Ruka. She annoys the hell out of me. Yeah. For those Ruka stands out there. Yeah, she's annoying. Don't get yourself canceled from the Ruka stance. <laughs> I, you know, in my case, I kind of forgot a lot of the names already. <clears throat> oh, look, there is a synopsis, though. Hino Shita Kazu has a 20 year old failure of a college student. Managed to kiss his girlfriend once, but was dumped. <laughs> Stupid mommy. <laughs> After a month. Ah, oh, damn it, I never want to go through that again. Completely spiteful. Kazuo uses a certain method to date a girl. He goes to their meeting place and suddenly hears You're Kazuo kun, right? A beautiful girl brushing her long black hair behind her ear. Wait, what? Was there, smiling at him. Her name? Was Mizuhara Chizuru. Yeah, okay, Chizuru. Okay. I already for forgotten the name. Something real was born after just a single rental. A reckless rom-com filled with love and excitement is about to begin. Yeah, season three. We had season one, season two. Um, Season one just kind of had an introduction to all of them, right? Like every one of them. And then threw one in at the end, unfortunately. Which had a little bit more screen time in season two. So looking forward to this season three. At least I want completion, whatever, something. I want something out of it. Yeah, I I don't know what the end game is. Like, is Chizuru supposed to be the end game, or is this gonna be like a quintuplet situation? Oh my god! Don't even get me started on that. <laughs> uh, it it the end game is mommy. Would you would you call that a quintessential fact? Oh my god. Look at that, yeah. Uh, I don't oh my I hope so not. I hope not. Yeah, I mean I feel like Chizuru has been like the center, like overall. Even though the other girls have gotten some spotlight, Chizuru feels like more of a center. Like he's even center on this picture. But let's see, I'm pretty sure I have a trailer for this too. With the new girl introduction. Better. Rent a Girlfriend season three official trailer starts off with him asking to make a movie together, which is uh, I think what happened in the last season too, right? The end of season two. It, I don't remember that. Did it happen? Yeah, I think he asked her, her to make a movie because I think it's to help her because she's been struggling with you know roles and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah. This is what happened at the end of season two. Remember? Yeah, yeah. I remember. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me go back for a second. Uh, I'm branding. I'm just like, is that an actual? Is, is that actually monster or is that like an off brand? It has an R that's, on it. Oh, uh, so that's not monster. That's like, obviously, look at the computer. It says Toshima. <laughs> yeah, so Toshima. They get, so, so they don't get it sued. So. Oh, that's funny. And look what he has down on the floor, too. Appropriately he always, placed. He always has that, bro. Wherever he goes, he always has that. <laughs> okay, let's get it. Hey, there's something about that ponytail, okay? There, there, that, that reaches a certain threshold. Huh? Huh? Oh! Hey, that's fair. That's my fair thing Wait, to say. That's an, a neighbor. Oh. 
But don't leave me like that. <laughs> what is the tattletailing about? Okay. She found out, she found out that Mizuru and him maybe weren't dating. Oh. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. She knows the secret too. Everybody's just gonna know the secret. Everybody knows, bro. <laughs> At this point, everybody knows. Oh my god. I actually do like her person already just from that, like, enough. I like, I'm not like, she's just like, she doesn't seem to be like annoying, like, type. She's just like, you know, like, kind of like bouncy in there. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, she, she seems like she's gonna be fun. More fun than Ruka, obviously. You are really trying to get those people on you, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, his social media will be in the description below. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. I mean, everybody will like who everybody will like. Uh, if you like Ruka, there's nothing wrong. If you like Mami-chan, there's nothing wrong with that, too. I, I mean, just hope we don't enter the Great Waifu Wars. This will be nah, like... We're not. We're this not. will be like ReZero all over again. I oh love Amelia. <laughs> where's, where's the table so I can flip it? Hold yeah. on. <laughs> All right. We're going to move on to the next one. Um, Next one up. We have... Suki na koga megani wo asureta. I am terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Go Hand Studios. Now, I've uh, I've have seen anime under this studio, and I have to say, the art style is really fucking strange. And so what is this one about? Well, I'll uh, I'll read the synopsis. It's a comedy romance because there we don't have plenty of that apparently already. I'm just worried about the studio because this studio kind of it largely went towards CGI. I think for the ones I've seen. Um, I can't like name one off the top of my head, but I remember watching it and it was like highly CGI and it's just like, anyway, synopsis with the new school year comes a new homeroom, new classmates and a new desk for the timid Komura. But any trepidation he might have felt quickly dissipates when he catches sight of Mai, his new seat neighbor. Apt to quietly blurt out the most random things, the quirky Mai wears thick glasses that accentuate her lovely eyes. Oh, so this is the this is the glasses lovers anime right here. Making a yeah, it sounds like it, right? It, this is for those that like girls with glasses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Making Komura's heart skip a beat. Unfortunately, Mai is pathologically forgetful and can never seem to forget. Remember to bring her glasses to class. It's not all bad though. Her resulting squ her resulting squinty mean girl face sends Komura's heart into overdrive too. While Komura is keen to help out and share his textbooks with Mai, will his heart give out from the almost daily strain of being up close and personal with his crush? How did that sound? I don't know. I guess we'll have to see the trailer to see if it's gonna hook us up or not because as i can see it's just a clumsy girl forgetting about her glasses every day so yeah and just uh the common you know co you know romantic comedy moments of being up close mm -hmm. and personal so let's see okay suki not go go megan i'm not gonna try trailer <laughs> 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 Megane! Let me adjust the sound of this. It's a little too loud. Oh! Well, she's very well designed, but that trailer... Yeah, yeah, but that trailer didn't give me, like, a lot to go on. So I guess when it airs, I'm just gonna have to look it up, just, you know, just to see how it's gonna be. But that trailer didn't show a lot. Yeah, it, it looks just kind of like, you know, your typical, adorable, you know, comedy romance. Yeah, we'll, get, we'll have to check it out once it airs to see how it goes. Yeah. Maybe it's a good one, we don't know yet. I'm just, I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm hoping the art style is gonna be better than I think it is, because, like I said, that studio has been... 
has some kind of a strange art style and I'm not sure how much of a fan of it I am, but you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Watch a few episodes. Three episode rule, you know. For you, that's a that's a For rule. me? Oh, you, you don't like the three episode rule? <laughs> uh, I give him two. Two? Okay, that's fair. There's some people that are just like, you know, I watched five episodes, I'll give it one more episode and just like, don't stop. You know you're gonna watch the one after that too. I mean, by the, if you watch five episodes, by the, just finish it already, you're halfway. Yeah. Okay, let's see the next one. Alright. From Kinema Circus, uh, Citrus. Why did I Circus? Citrus. Another romance. This one's a drama though. Watashi no shiwase na kekkon. Okay, I have no idea what this is gonna be other than the romance tag. But let's see. Born to a noble family, Mio is married off to Kiyoka, a soldier so heartless his prior fiancés fled. With nowhere to go, Mio slowly starts to open her heart to her cold husband-to-be. Could this be love? Oh, I think this is like the modern-day Cinderella type of thing. Hmm, yeah, it sounds like it, doesn't it? Didn't, didn't we watch one similar? Uh, they sent the, the daughter to marry one guy who was uh, heartless. I loved that one so much, actually. And it had like a, it, it was kind of like set in like more ancient, not ancient times, like uh, mm -hmm. olden Tengoku times in Japan. Era, yeah. yeah, Tengoku era. That was great. I actually, I don't remember the name off the top of my head, but. I remember that one. I'm sure somebody will remember that one. And uh, maybe I'll edit it in here if I forget the name later. All right. The trailer and the English name is My Happy Marriage. Let's do this. Ooh. I do like the uh, the art feel. Like it's a little... A little moodier. Mm -hmm. You can kind of like see that in the background, it's just like very like more dreary. Kind of suspense. Ooh. Yeah, this is kind of like an old style like feel to the art. うん。駆動家投手。駆動清子。いいね。と。いいか。おお。ここでは私の言うことには絶対に従え。うん。おやおや。もしかして、また婚約者に逃げられでもしましたか。It wasn't the guy in another anime. Ha ha ha. I know the trailer feels rather slow. But I guess that's it's just well, that's a, that's a drama for you. So that's how that's it is. true. Yeah, very true. Okay, so it's probably going to be one of those where you know, as I said, the the soldier is cold hearted and uh, everything. But I, he's going to probably change after meeting because this girl her, here. According yeah. to the lore of all the anime tropes. Yeah, that's if that's pretty much how it's gonna end up being, mm -hmm. with obviously some drama underneath it all. Maybe, maybe family issues. Maybe, you know, different Who things, knows? or maybe his what own is issues. He's a he's a soldier, right? You, he's probably seen some shit. Yeah, yeah. So, that's definitely where it could head, and uh, it seems pretty good. You never know. Maybe, maybe in one episode at least. <laughs> okay. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, exactly. Never know. Ah, here we go. Devil is the part-timer. Technically, it says second season, but technically this is the second part of the second. They, the naming, can, we've talked about this before. The naming is as weird as the Attack on Titan naming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's it's like season two, part two or something like that. Even though they're naming it second season. <laughs> yeah, they have weird names, so. Yeah, in which we knew that the second part was coming because they announced it after the beginning of the first part. Um, it was weird 
to hear that this even came back. I don't a lot of people are kind of iffy on the new art style as well as like, you know, this I last season. The new art style. I'm just curious as to see where the story is going to go because now all the chips are being revealed one by one. So the story is taking a different course of what we thought it was going to go. Yeah. I never thought um, this little baby girl was going to be around them taking the story on another route. So we'll see. We'll have to see how it goes. Indeed. And I have a trailer. Here we go. <laughs> you see how it's the second season on here, but the title is <laughs> season three. <laughs> uh, yeah. What was the name of the little girl? I can't remember. I already forgot. There's too many anime to remember everybody. Oh. Is there some drama? McRonald's, yes! McRonald's, yes. <laughs> oh god, this section's gonna be totally smacked. <laughs> uh, this is the this is one of the first reverse isekai ah <laughs> uh, yeah it is wait wait the girl's uh, bigger now do you see that oh yeah she looks like she grew up a little bit oh hmm i wonder if we're gonna get a little bit more relations between those two well of course we are because uh but that little girl, she seemed like she was, um, like, not a baby girl anymore. Yeah, I think uh, it's probably some, you know, the shenanigans with the whole growth mechanic mm. of, you know, because uh, some, some special, some uh, special, you know, beings can just grow quickly. That's what I was going to say. They're all magical beings, so no more rules don't apply to them. All right, the next one is the one I know we've been looking forward to. What is the next one? Tell me the name. Liar, liar. Liar, liar. This is the, uh, from the synopsis sounding like a no game, no life, like, you know, show. Oh, yes. <laughs> from Geek Toys? It's an edgy psychological... I didn't even see the edgy tag. Oh, no. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, edgy psychological. Okay, I'm uh, I'm interested. Yeah. So according to what it says, it's like uh, no game, no life type of thing. Yep. A mind game of lies and deceit begins at Academy Island. Students battling games to win stars, hoping to earn the prestigious title Seven Star. Sarasa is last year's champion and is on the track to win again until Hiroto, a new transfer student, always the new transfer students, hits the scene. Surprisingly, Hiroto defeats her by sheer luck. Now he must use bluffs and trickery to stay on top. I'm gonna tell you one thing. I loved No Game No Life for sure. I'm gonna watch Liar Liar because it seems interesting. It seems around the same gimmick. So I'm gonna give it a try the moment it comes out. I'm and the, sure I'm gonna love it too. And the main character is like there holding a chess piece, so he's he's gonna be all about that strategy, just to like triumph over everybody. And it said bluffs and trickery, so I feel like it's just gonna be a that lot. Red girl, the girl with the red hair, doesn't she look like Stephanie Dola, the one with the red hair on No Game No Life? True, she does have that kind of vibe. <laughs> and then there's like some kind of girl that looks like a maid kind of outfit. Well, we can check out the trailer on this one, too. All right, Liar Liar official trailer. <laughs><笑>世界には格付けが溢れている。この世に生きてる人間全員にランキングがつけられるとしたら、自分は一体何位なんだろう。うん。まあそんな順位本気にする必要なんてないか。この世には嘘が溢れてるんだから。君を七つ
I know, I know she looks generic, but I really like those girls with red hair. Oh. There's a cat girl. A cat girl? Oh my god. I think I saw a cat girl, I don't know. Oh yeah, I love that cover art right there. That looks so good. <laughs> yeah, it's it's looking a lot like No Game No Life with the chess piece and the board. Yeah, hopefully there's just a lot of fun different games, if that's the case. So I'm, what I'm guessing is this is a mix between Kakegurui and No Game No Life. Of course, I'm going to watch it the moment it comes on, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it, and I'm going to finish it. So there's my opinion. Yeah, I'm all on that same boat. I definitely want to definitely wanna watch this. This is the one I, I was also looking forward to. Um, I do like the look of the art style. I know, you know. Mm -hmm. It's pretty normal, but I like it. I'm, I'm curious where it goes. The tags are interesting. The etchy psychological, I don't know where that's going to head, but you know, you never know. Hopefully it doesn't go that much into that etchy route, but and keeps the story going good, you know? I feel like it's going to be a plot device thing. Though they kind of like briefly showed, remember they showed pictures of like one of the main girls in different <laughs> fashions. So I don't I don't we'll know see. I don't know if that's gonna be for like maybe like sabotage or like you know kind of like blackmail, which could be a reason like that could be the yep. strategy. You're like, hey, I'll leak all these pictures if you uh if you're not careful and you don't join up with me or something. Yeah, we had something similar in a different anime that we both liked. Um, uh, the one where Ajano Koji is. This girl took a picture of. Oh uh, yeah. On Classroom of the Elite. Yep. Yes, that one. Mm -hmm. This one um, <clears throat> it's called Reign of the Seven Blades or something like that. Um, this one's actually pretty hyped up. I think I've seen people say. Um, I'm interested in it for sure, just from from what I've heard. So let's see the synopsis. It's an action fantasy. It's springtime at Kimberly Magic Academy and new students are beginning their first year. Among them are skilled and studious boy Oliver and a headstrong samurai girl Nano. They soon form a unique bond in the halls of Kimberly. But this picturesque school isn't what it seems. Dark secrets and endless danger lurk behind every corner. Can these wizards make it to graduation alive? See, I'm all I, I like magic school anime. It, it, it's just how I, I'm sure it's a power fantasy. That's what it sounds like to me. And I love myself some power fantasy. I mean, it doesn't doesn't sound bad. It sounds curious at best. You know, it's a it's a fantasy setting. Um, I'm willing to give it a try. You know, as so far as of what I've heard, let's uh, take a look at the trailer and find out. All right, time for the trailer. <clears throat> Ooh. Art looks really good too. Yeah, it has some has some nice flair to it. Was that a troll? The yeah, it looks like it. I feel like I'm getting Skyrim vibes from this music. I want to watch it already, and I don't even know what it is. So we got Harry Potter mixed in with swords. Her hair just changed colors. That VA, like, I, I kind of recognize that VA slightly, but I'm not sure. Hmm. Interesting. I but yeah, this is one I was also interested in watching from the get go. I I like the trailer. Definitely gonna give it a try if I have a chance. Yeah. Natsu no Maken. Yeah, I'm 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 gonna go into this for sure. It's it's into the screen. Okay. Alright, next up. I don't think I grabbed one for this either, but I just thought it would be slightly mentioned. I mean, there's this one, the ones next. 
It doesn't this, need a trailer, bro. Everybody this is Rironi Kenshin, and it's a re-adaptation. Yes. I actually never watched Rironi Kenshin. So, what? Yes, I have never actually watched it. it is it uh, worth me trying to try out the re-adaptation? I mean, I don't know how this re-adaptation is going to be. Possibly it's like a remake or something, or they left out some stories of... Uh, some parts of the story don't know yet however it's gonna be Kenshin, it looks like it's a re-adaptation according to the description so Rurouni Kenshin it's a it's a good anime with a good storyline uh has comedy too and not only that they've made live action movies which I haven't heard anything bad about them actually they have like three people seem to love it so and this was, uh, is this like one of those big ones in the past, kind of like on the same level yes. as, I know like there's a few others that were on the same level. Yeah, so it was back in the past and uh, it was one of the, one of those big ones, like okay. not Dragon Ball Z type, but it was, it was big. I might, liked it. I might give it a try. I'm, I probably wouldn't watch the older one. I'd watch this one if I was going to give it a go. I mean, yeah, of course, if you're going to give it a try and it starts out from the very beginning. Yeah. Just to readapt, then yeah, of course. I think I actually heard this morning. I think this is going to be 24 episodes as well. I think it's going to be oh. a double core. Okay. Yeah. I think it has more episodes than that, but they can cover a lot of ground within that. It's, it's not bad. I just mean, they odds are they'll probably continue the adaptation. They'll just split it up more than that, though, if they're going to do it. So, okay. I have to give that a shot then and see how it goes. Um, and maybe, uh, maybe you'll be able to tell me how it goes later as well. Maybe you'll check out like an episode to be like, Hey, is this better than the old one or is it worse or, you know? Yeah. I'll give it a watch and then we can discuss it later on. Oh yeah. Here's what I was talking about before. <clears throat> Reincarnated as a vending machine. I knew it was coming. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, uh, that's pretty much what it is like i don't have to read the name i just know that that's what this was this is the vending machine one so as much as i like um isekais and reincarnation anime i think this is a little bit going overboard you know <laughs> it's it's so overboard that it's funny yeah i mean we had so far we have what uh reincarnated as a slime Reincarnated as a spider, reincarnated as a sword. What else? I'm pretty sure we have more. Slime is just wonderful, though. I'm ready for another season of that. Yes, it was. Sword, funny enough, already is getting a second season. Oh, I heard something about that. Do you have a trailer for this one? Yes, I should. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the synopsis first. Yeah. After dying in a traffic incident. Okay. <laughs> we... Truck <laughs> I find myself standing near an unfamiliar lake. My body won't move. I can't hear my voice. And when I try to shout in confusion, words that I never expect to come out. Get one free with a winner. <laughs> it seems I've turned into a vending machine. I can only do what actual vending machines can. It's impossible to move by myself. And there's no way for me to have any meaningful conversation. How am I going to survive some fantasy world dungeon like this? <laughs> okay. Well, let's check out. I don't, I don't even know what to say. Are we going to really just see him die right now? <laughs> I mean, every uh, isekai anime needs to start with that. Oh, whoa. That... <laughs> oh, that's not even a traffic incident. You literally got flattened by a vending machine. <laughs> and then fused with it. it. Became the very thing that killed him. Oh god. I like the little face he made. Oh. Oh. Is there hungry? Those are like a mix of frogs and goblins. Yeah. Oh, I know that VA. I know that girl VA. She just pick up the whole vending machine. I actually like that VA too. The heck. You know, when isn't this technically they're taking your insides? I I uh, 
I don't want to think about it. <laughs> and also, does it auto fill up like the vending machine? Right. Oh, she's carrying the vending machine like it's nothing, bro. I just mean, does the vending machine ever run out? I guess we'll have to see it to find out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she's. I, I honestly, I don't know about this one. However, I am curious now to see the way it's gonna go. So I might give it a try. Um, just one episode, like the spider one. I wasn't gonna give it a try, but you convinced me to do it. So there was a lot of CGI in that one. Mm -hmm. Spider. I like the little face of the of the vending machine, though. Yeah, it has like the whole like emoji ish kind of feel to it. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't, I don't know like where the story will go with this though. Like, that's what I'm saying. I'm willing to check it out out of curiosity. Yeah, it's a, there's definitely curiosity because you're just like, where's the story going? Like, mm -hmm. how, is this just gonna be like dungeon adventure with a vending machine and like, that's crazy. Is she gonna use the vending machine to hit people? <laughs> oh, I mean. And it has, it's a studio I've never really looked at. Studio Gokami plus A-X-S-I-Z. But it looks like it's going to be very comedic, which we know. Comedy fantasy. Mm -hmm. so, hey, so it's worth worth checking out at least a little bit to see where it's headed, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to give at least one episode a try. All right, next up. A.U. Kyoshitsu. Um... I kind of briefly saw things on this as well. Action fantasy. Um, I don't know if this... I don't think this is the art style at all. I think this is just an image, but... Actus Studio. Um, I don't know what that name means, so let's just show you the synopsis. The story is set in Rosewood Academy, a school that trains future heroes. Oh, this is the hero one. Designed to protect mankind. The school accepts only those with the most potential. Arnest Flaming, a girl who boasts the top record in the academy, is assigned to guide a mysterious but cheerful new student named Blade, who rivals her own power. It doesn't really tell much, but this is kind of like another like heroish school type thing, I guess. I don't know if it's going to be on the same length as like My Hero Academia, but you know, that it seems similar, right? Yeah, it seems similar. However, they can take it on a different route, maybe? It does say fantasy. Popular. It does say fantasy, which I don't think My Hero really has a fantasy tag too, so it has more fantasy elements. But maybe it's kind of like My Hero plus fantasy, rather than just, you know... Nowadays, the there's a lot of animes coming out with different, I mean, similar things to the other anime. So, I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up being close to My Hero. I'm pretty sure this is this one is gonna take on a different route. Let's see the trailer. Yeah, time for the trailer. This is the art style. That's pretty like pretty nice. It has a little bit of a vibe to it. It's like an old style vibe. Classroom for heroes, that's the English name. Wait, isn't that a game? <clears throat> I don't know, is it? I'll find out right now. Ooh. Energetic MC. So they're implying that she's a dragon? That makes sense. I'm not gonna lie, I really like the art style vibe. <laughs> yeah, overpowered MC. Power fantasy, let's go. I'm interested. So the, art style. The, game, the, game? the game is called 
class of heroes. Oh. Is it the same thing? Um, I'm not sure. I'm looking at pictures. They may look a little bit similar on the art style, though. Hmm. It was on the PSP. Wow. So what's your thoughts? Might give it a try. It seems uh, interesting. I like the trope of uh, we're on a school heroes training and all that power up. So it, it seemed interesting. I'm willing to give it a try at least a few episodes, you know? Power fantasy OP main character. Yes. I re and I do like the, the art style is very, very... I know I keep saying that, but it's just, I just like it. There's something about no, but, it. Uh, but you gotta tell it like it is, you know? If they have beautiful art style, it is good. It looks good, too. Alright, well, we'll give that a go, then. Onward to the next one. Ah, Doga Kobo. I, I, you know, that's actually, I think, the one that's doing Oshinoko right now. Doga Kobo. Um, so mm -hmm. maybe it's, that's... The studio is getting rep from that. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, Shiro Seijo to Kuro Bokushi. Comedy fantasy. Okay, another fantasy. A lot of fantasy comedy, huh? There's romance and a lot of fantasy. Synopsis. Saint Cecilia is beloved by the townspeople. Not only is she elegant and composed, she benevolently shares her wisdom with all who seek it. That is until the last person has left. At which point she becomes a totally hopeless. Only Pastor Lawrence is keeping the saint put together enough to do her duties. And though she may test him, it's all in a day's work. I have no idea what I, to... <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say about it. I like, that doesn't tell me anything about what exactly. this is about. Exactly. That doesn't tell me anything nor makes me want to watch it out of curiosity. So if you have the trailer, we'll just have to see that and see how it goes. Well, time for a trailer. All right, trailer time. Let's go. Saint Cecilia and Pastor Lawrence. It's just a teaser, but. Oh, God. Uh, uh, <laughs> that is, I, I don't, it? yeah, that's, that's just a trailer. A, oh my god, technically, it was a teaser, but it's just like, yeah, I still don't know what is this gonna be like more of like a slice of life deal. Um, I, I don't know, I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait until we get more information on it because that was way too little information. I mean, I'll give it a shot, but if anything, this will be more an iffy one for me if I want to watch it or not. Yeah, I don't think I'll be watching it unless we get more information on how it's going to be, because that, that trailer didn't show anything. So Yeah, that was the only one I could so. find. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> hmm. uh, well, maybe it'll be better yeah. than expected. You know, gotta yeah, give maybe some... as the time goes on, we'll get another trailer, so... Yeah, maybe so there'll be more reason. Yeah, 23 days exactly from now. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to the next one. Next up, we have Uchi no Kasha no Chisai Senpai no Hanashi. I think this is like my little senpai or something like that. <laughs> not, not exactly like that, but like some somewhere close to that. Project number nine is the studio. Comedy romance. There's another one. Um, I, I know that there was some weird commotion about this one because people are just like, oh, she's not short. She's young and, you know, a child. And it's just like, no, this, this is all about her being short. That kind of thing. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I get it. Uh, Shinozaki is an office worker who's taken care of and coddled by his senior team member, Shiori Katase, who is a gorgeous, profoundly kind, loving, and diminutive woman. Shinozaki certainly hopes that she's not doing it out of duty, but her joy of doing so increasingly exposes her feelings. It's a more adult-centered romance anime. Yeah, um... Office kind of style. 
I watched something similar a few seasons ago. There was a, uh, I think it was like the ice, it's some kind of a like, an ice theme, essentially, where the MC is uh, a descendant of a snow woman. Um, and, uh, and when his feelings show, he releases ice. And it, that's all, it was pretty, it was a pretty fun romance. Um, and it was an adult, more adult-like centered one. It was pretty good. So... This could be good. Yes, it doesn't. Please. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, let's check out the trailer. You had to give us that view, didn't you? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> they keep showing that angle of the camera, man. Call fan service. Oh. oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> Did I hear edgy situations in Japanese? <laughs> okay, so there's probably multiple couples in this one too. It reminds me of friends or girlfriends for some reason. Or too low blue or something. It actually looks pretty adorable though. It looks like one of those those anime to to, to fuel your heart for the week. Whoa. <laughs> nah, that's that's kind of too much. Might get diabetes out of this one. Uh, you might need the diabetes, right? Maybe. I might. I might need this to fuel my uh, my sugar uh, intake for the week. <clears throat> I I honestly, it seems like a fun comedy type of anime, romance comedy. I still don't know yet if I'd watch it. But it doesn't seem like it's gonna be bad. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I, I'm interested in uh, overdosing myself into this state of diabetes. Yeah, no, that might be too much for me. <laughs> uh, if you don't watch it, I'll let you know. Don't worry. That's how it, it always is. Huh? Okay, let's move on. We got ourselves comedy etchy. <laughs> I fear every time I see the etchy tag. Okay, Jitsu wa ore saikyo deshita, staple entertainment. So something about the strongest. After being a shut-in, Haruto is reincarnated as a baby. Okay, <laughs> and amazingly, that baby is a prince. However, he's abandoned in a forest on the day he's born because of his low magic level. What would be the fate of Haruto? Who is inadvertently given a thousand times the normal amount of magic by the goddess of reincarnation without anybody noticing? Oh, you had to be something with the strongest. Here's our isekai. <laughs> yep. The isekai of the of this month. From all coming. Another isekai. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's check out the trailer. All right. Am I actually the strongest trailer? Okay. Those things don't need to shake by themselves. Yeah, she's a goddess. She doesn't need that. Oh. Oh. Is he flying? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be freaked out too. <laughs> Did you say I am the demon yes. lord? Yes, I heard that too. But I mean, I'm guessing, I'm guessing he's going that route because he just got casted off. That's true. His own family. Oh. I mean, obviously, this is just going to be another 
generic, you know, power fantasy isekai. We, we know how it is. Mm-hmm. But guess what? But we're probably going to watch it. It's isekai. Yes, yes. We will. <clears throat> isekai is the general go-to. At least trying out. If you get bored, get bored, right? I'd give it a try. I'd watch it. Seems like it's going to be fun to watch. It has action. And the guy claims to that he's gonna be the overlord, so... I mean, if he'll be the demon lord, that sounds good. Okay, next up, we have an anime called Helk. Satellite Studios. Action Adventure. And this one also has a demon. I see. A certain country in the demon world. The demon ki- what? The demon king was defeated by the hands of one of the heroes, and the competition was held for the title of the new demon king. The Imperial Four, Heavenly Kings, Vermilia, who is in charge of the tournament, is furious at the participation of the human hero Helk, who is supposed to be her enemy. After receiving news of the fall of the castle of Urum before the final, Vermilia sets out to retake Urum Castle with Helk and other finalists. With a smile, Helk says, let's destroy humans. Are those words true? The truth behind the smile is... Dot dot dot. What is the truth behind the smile? Hmm. Well, maybe the uh, maybe the trailer will tell us. Let's go. All right, Helk official trailer. Let's go. Oh. The art's kind of interesting. Yep, I was about to say that. Ooh. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, what the heck? Is that big buff guy Helk? Or no, not Helk, um, Helk's her. But. No, wait, the, the buff guy with Helk. Never mind, yeah. I didn't expect a buff guy to be the. Huh. Looks like He Man, bro. Modern day He Man. I found the opening. I'll be right. No! <laughs> Ooh. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold up. Wait, I wait. Listen to the voice for a second on that guy. I can't hear anything. I don't know if that was Kirito's voice or not, but. It. <laughs> Might be, I wouldn't be surprised. I'll check that later, but it sounded very close. I might be a little off, but who knows? But hey, that's Hulk. Oh. Hmm, there's some kind of secret right there that we can't see, but I'm a little tough. <laughs> Um, so I don't know about this one if I'm gonna watch it or not. Um, even though the art style look good, I I'll give it a few episodes and then I'll try watching it. Yeah, I want to give it a shot for sure because I'm interested to see where this is headed for sure. Um, the hero Helk is joining up, and not yeah, the hero Helk is joining up with uh, one of the heavenly kings. Action adventure. It's Seems like one of those like shonen s type shows, so not much to say there. Until we uh, yeah. probably check it out. Next up, Dark Gathering. Now, this looks amusing just by picture alone. Yeah, the art looks really good too. This is a horror supernatural. We haven't had horror in a little bit. That is true. The after a devastating encounter with a restless spirit, ghost. Fearing psychic Kerotaru Gentoga became a shut-in to avoid additional spectral catastrophes. But no man is a haunted island, and Kerotaru eventually reiterates with society by getting a part-time job as a tutor to the child prodigy Yao Huzuki. Yai Yao isn't just an academic genius, though. She's a talented psychic medium, hell-bent on finding the malevolent spirit behind her mother's disappearance. 
as she's gravely determined to drag Keitaro into her terrifying world of grotesque supernatural phenomenon. So it's a large, like, ghost story, supernatural horror. I mean, just by going by the art, it seems interesting and... Dark it's Gathering, true. official trailer, let's go. That's not the volume a little. Oh, those oh. eyes are kind of... Those eyes are freaking creepy. Ooh. That's it? Oh. Uh... Yeah, those eyes are freaking creepy. It's oh. a type of anime that's trying to catch you off guard as far as I can see. Even the whole like static effect they have in the trailer is just like, oh, what? Shit always gotta be tentacles, bro. Yeah, that's Japan. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow. Well, I will definitely give it a check on uh, episode one, but it's not because of all that um, tentacles and tongues. Uh, that was I'm something. Really curious, yeah. <clears throat> that was something that we haven't had. Yeah, it's not something we've had like recently. So I'm all for something like this. I'm curious how we just go. Check. Yeah, it feels like uh, the enemies, the monsters, the ghosts, whatever, they're all going to be uh, super horror-esque. And I wonder how dark it's going to go. Is there going to be some, like, gore to it? Is it going to just be more on the horror elements, you know? Well, you already saw they stabbed something and a lot That's of true. flying out, so... Yeah. the setting of how it's going to be. It is horror supernatural, so it's going to be for... Something interesting. Just don't watch yeah, it night. Try it once it comes out. Oh, that's the best time to watch it. Okay. Well, that. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. All right. I tell you, Raisa. Yes, this is based on a game. Mm -hmm. Um, I've kind of mentioned it to before. I still have to play the game because I actually own the game. Twelve days to play the game fully and complete. I don't know how possible that will be. But hey, maybe 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 one of these days I'll play it for my channel or something. Um, action adventure from Leiden Films. Um, a lot of people are waiting for this. They've been doing a lot of you know game adaptations lately. So the story of Ryza, a fledgling alchemist who escaped her boring daily life with her friends to pursue her dreams. That's that's pretty much it. She's a learning alchemist, and uh, it's just based on a JRPG series. So. Yeah, so there's a lot of Atelier games out there. Uh, unfortunately, I've never played one, so I wouldn't be able to give you any details about it. Um, a lot of people like it. It seems very interesting. However, I don't know anything about it. Uh, all I know is uh, people really like... Um, really like her thighs. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> I've seen that going around. I was... Uh random i wasn't expecting that yeah it's it, it's a thing though i've seen it like around people are big fans <laughs> uh first episode will be 60 minutes long oh that okay, that's pretty good that's interesting okay action adventure we'll go ahead and check out the trailer wow just from the get-go interesting layer of art i thought we were gonna the end art? up 
you know, I was I thought we were gonna see like a big circular city, and I was just like, ah, oh, sweet Konosuba again. <laughs> <laughs> I played a tiny bit, but I didn't play enough to like remember that I'd rather restart at this point. But yeah, this kind of reflects what I've seen in game so far. Ooh, the art looks actually crisp. It really does. Like already from the get go, I love it. I already love the art. Like that bird feels so natural. Yeah, see? <laughs> yeah, I'm no comment. <laughs> A lot of people are really big fans of the, this franchise and should really like try out the games to see where it goes. You have it, so. Yeah. Trader told me nothing. It just kind of gave you some characters that are normally, normally in. Because uh, I've I've met some of those characters just from a little bit of that mm -hmm. I played. Um, other than that, this is probably mainly for the fans that have played the game, um, mm -hmm. or at least know the franchise. Though it doesn't mean you can't go into it. You know, it's kind of like. Able to do so, but you might be a little bit lost if you go into something without knowing the, the backstory of it. Though I'm sure, in every case, like imaginable, like any of the game adaptations will not adapt properly to an extent. They will always cut content. Um, that's where playing the game will always be better. And for example, Scarlet Nexus, I played a bit and I've watched the show to a point. I never actually finished the show Scarlet Nexus, but. I know it cut a lot of content because when I was playing the game, there's some battles in there that were not put in the anime. So they could easily do that too. The game will always be the better version. Yeah, like uh, Danganronpa did the same too. So they cut a few things in the anime just to make it more short. It's probably the same with the Nier Automata anime. Nier Automata. I should mm -hmm. say that. Yeah. It, which I never played that either. I'd want to play that before I watched it, so... Just because, better feeling. Okay, well that's ulterior rise. Up oh, one second. Up next, Yume Miru Danchi wa Genjitsu Shugisha. Wow, comedy romance. Yay, another one. See <laughs> something Yume Miru? Something about a dream or something? Well, let's see. Sajo Waturu is deeply in love with his beautiful classmate, Natsuwa Aika. Is continuing to approach her without getting discouraged. Is continuing to approach her without getting discouraged while having dreams about their mutual love. Uh, however, one day he woke up thinking, I'm not really fit to be together with someone as good as her, huh? Upon realizing this, Watua started keeping an appropriate distance towards her. Much to Aika's surprise. Oh... Could it be that he hates me now? Did his intentions slip by her? Because she was getting impatient after ha arriving at the wrong conclusion? This is the start of a rom-com revolving around two people who just can't get their feelings across and both think their love is unrequited. Oh, communication issues the anime. <laughs> it's literally a rom-com where they just can't communicate that they like each other. Well just from the synopsis it's not very calling to me however i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna watch it just out of that so yeah i might i might give it a try one or two episodes if it's like really fun in comedy then i'll i'll finish it yeah like uh like that one we had before um or a suki that's what it was Orisuki, yes yes one, one to watch, I liked it. all right trailer let's go we see a ball flying. Cute character design. Generic as heck friend. Or MC, I don't know which one. Might be the MC though. 
Oh, no, no, that is the MC. Because he's trying to go after her. Yeah. Oh, the eyes are very well made. I don't know if I'll look... I don't know if I'll look at eyes ever again with the way Oshinoko did eyes. もう<笑> <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> pretty normal romance comedy. From what I've seen, though, he kept advancing toward her, and she kept, like, rejecting the advances, and then as soon as he stopped, she got concerned. She got reversed. Yeah, it, she got concerned because it's like, why is he not coming after me anymore? That's that's how life is. I yeah. Oh. And that's probably where the communication issues go into play. Mm -hmm. I'm the type to watch this. <laughs> I know you will. Yeah, uh, still, I'm definitely. I'm still not sure myself if I would or not, but. If you don't watch it, I let you know. I can easily do that. I Genjitsu no Yohane Sunshine in the Mirror. Now, here's what I was talking about where this is like an idol anime, but not exactly an idol anime. So what this okay. is, is it took an idol anime called Love Live Sunshine and just essentially made all the characters as if they were in a fantasy world. So it's like a fantasy spinoff of an idol series. Okay. Yes, it's strange. It's unexpected. And I don't know if they're going to have any idol elements in it or if it's just going to be pure fantasy, considering there's a fantasy tab and not a music tag on it. Um, yes, this is this was a very odd announcement where this is just a fantasy element of an idol series rather than an actual pure idol anime series. So it's more fantasy than anything. So the story reimagines uh, one of the characters, the school idol afflicted with Chunbio adolescent. So yes, there's a Chunbio like type girl in this idol group, and she's essentially the MC here. And uh, she essentially becomes a magical girl in the show. The story is set in Nizuma, a scenic harbor town surrounded by sea and mountains. Ever since she was little, has never fit in, has always felt apart from everybody in the town. Her aspirations and true place in this world lie elsewhere. The story follows this girl who can't follow rules as she journeys into the mysterious world. So yes, this is more fantasy. And definitely anybody can pick this up without watching an idol anime because it's not an idol anime, it seems so. Um, but this is probably more for the fans that have watched the idol series because you'll know all who the characters are. It's It's weird and unexpected, but interesting nonetheless. Oh, they just decided to do that. It's kind of like, um, if you remember My Hero, where they had that ending where it like everybody was like thrown into like a fantasy world type setting. Yeah, Bakugo was a dragon or something. No, not Bakugo, the Hiroshima. Yeah, like it, it's that kind of like idea is like, what if we threw them into a different setting? I mean, it's not about plan. Um, you can get more popular with using the same characters from your previous anime, you know, and put yeah. them on a different setting as long as you can explain it, so. Yeah, I have, I have the trailer, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about that for this one. It's just, it doesn't feel necessary. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the next. Level 1, Daikero, unique skill. Uh, we, we, this is probably a isekai. De Saikyo Desu. Maho Film Adventure Fantasy. Probably an isekai, right? <laughs> yeah, level one, uh, Psycho means strongest, so... 
Saito Ryota, a salary man working for an exploited company, suddenly finds himself in an inside an unfamiliar dungeon in a strange world where monsters drop all sorts of items of loot. With the help of a girl, he happens to run into Emily. Emily, that's just the most generic girl name you could have given. He's able to check his own stats and finds that all of them, both physical and magical, are at rank F, the weakest. What's more, his level is stuck at 1, the lowest. Ryota is on the verge of utter despair, but then he learns that he also has drop skill, all S, the most powerful unique skill there is. Can Ryota manage to survive in the bizarre world? The strongest and the weakest adventure of all is about to begin. Weak stats, but unique drop skill, all S. That means all the drops from monsters will be S tier drop. Yes, will be rare or epic, but it's not strong at all. I don't know. It doesn't, it's like not too enticing. I'll give it a shot, mm -hmm. but it doesn't feel like that. Like I want to watch this kind of vibe so far, if you know what it I mean. Fun, you never know. The, we thought the same thing about Arifueta and then it turned out fun the first season. Yeah. All right, let's check out the trailer. Maybe that will... Oh. A girl with a hammer. Hmm. A slime dropped a human? <laughs> oh. Everything. Oh, that's where this is headed. Everything you get is from drops, which means he's essentially OP in this world. Ah, uh, that makes more sense. It's OP because this world is all centered around drops. I'm gonna call this grinding on easy mode the anime. Hmm. It's, you know, because that drops are a real big issue in those types of games where you're just like, oh no, I didn't get enough. I have to battle the monster again. <laughs> but he did, he did say that he was gonna make a living out of fighting those monsters, so. Yeah, and uh, this makes more sense now that we know that the world aspect is everything comes from drops. Like everything. Bean sprouts, apparently. Like, yeah. So that makes sense why his skill is so OP is all his drops will be S tier. It's not going to be just like the lowest amount. You're always going to get the highest amount or whatever it drops. So he's going to be able to sell that stuff. Because people aren't going to be able to get, you know, at the same rate as him. He's going to get things much quicker. Yeah, he's, um, I'm guessing he's going to end up doing a shop or something. He probably has to. So that's cool. I'm a little bit more interested now just because of that aspect. Because in a normal sense, you just like, oh, drop scale. That's not very good. Well, it's on Isekai. You know we're going to watch it. Next up. Hi, I've heard of this one a little bit. I think this is like, uh, is this Taming the Last Boss or is that like something else? I know we've had one about Taming the Last Boss. Um, Higeki no Genkyo to Naru Saikyo Ghetto Last Boss Jo Watami. This is a light novel title, I can tell it's so freaking long. Um, I think it's Taming the Last Boss or something like that, yeah. Is it the Taming? Oh, maybe it is. Okay, maybe I was right. Okay. Pride Royal Ivy is only eight years old when she realized that she's been reincarnated. There we go. <laughs> is destined to become the future wicked queen and final boss of an otome game another otome game she's got all it all in this new life razor sharp wit boss tier powers 
influence over the kingdom as a crown princess. Determined to sow despair and destruction across the land, she... Wait, what kind of rotten future is that? Princess Pride decides to drop the maniacal villainous plan and protect the male love interest instead, cheating her way to saving everyone she can. Will this final boss end up earning the adoration of her kingdom? Another case where, you know, they get into an Otome game, they try to change things because they don't want to be the villain. But you know how the bad guy always ends, so they're trying to prevent how it happens. Or usually there's some cases where the MC will revert to the villainous role. <laughs> the actual like which is actually a kind of common thing in a, an anime this season uh, about going into a light novel uh the ray liana one um where essentially the main character is supposed to be like more of like a character that's you know supposed to die and whatnot but you know different things and everything shifts because they know what's going to happen, so they change it up and then everything kind of gets flip-flopped and the story gets screwed up. So we're going to have to see how it is and give it a try. Yeah, let's see the trailer. Hmm. You realize she where she was. They let her keep that memory. Oh. Oh. Red hair is really nice. Oh. Not much to say, you know. Pretty common, like Ochame style. I don't have anything to say about it either. I think we've uh, seen our share of Ochame games where this is not too surprising the route that it's going. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Yeah, probably will. I've been enjoying the Ochame ones that have been coming out, so you never know. Um, but maybe it'll be more on the on the back burner end, if it is. Because there's uh, still a bunch of others, and I don't know if I'll get to all of them. I try, but you get behind really quick. The more you progress, the more you just like, I don't know if I can watch all of these. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel you. We have Undead Girl Murder Farce. Lap and Track. Fantasy Mystery. Yeah, literally a lot. Fantasy Mystery. Oh no, the title again. <laughs> Undead Girl Murder Farce. Oh, Farce, okay. You thought farts, so. huh? Yes. Okay, Lap and Track Studios. The 19th century, a world inhabited by vampires, golems, werewolves, and other paranormal creatures. A mortal beauty and disembodied head, I. What? I read that right, right? Disembodied head, Iorindo, along with half human, half demon, demon killer. Sugaru Shunichi and her loyal maid Chizuku Haisai travels through Europe as supernatural detective the cage user solving supernatural mysteries while she searches for her lost body huh so she has a fake body and she's looking for her own body that somebody else took I guess that's what I'm getting at she's a demon like she's just a a disembodied head looking for her own body their body's lost yeah but she might be uh, i honestly i don't know I have no <laughs> it sounds strange it does but strange is what you know works if it's something nobody's heard about before it makes it more interesting to check out all right undead girl murder farce official trailer <laughs> Oh, yeah, she is literally a disembodied head in the cage. 
that talks. Huh. Huh. Fascinating. Yeah, I don't I, I don't even know what to say about it. The trailer didn't give us much either, but um it's curious to say the least, you know. Sounds like a rather unique premise. Mystery is always, you know, interesting. Mm -hmm. So it, it, in this case, for me, it will be a uh, if. If I get around to it, probably. Yeah, it's going to be the same for me, too. Like, if I have some time and I don't have anything to watch, I may give it uh, a watch just to see how it is. Okay, moving on. Ah, uh, Spy Classroom Season 2. First season was good. It makes sense why is this low down? A lot of people really there's been a I saw I heard a lot of complaints about season one. Um yeah, I mean I enjoyed it, but a lot of people didn't like how some things worked. I don't I don't know, like maybe the flow of the story, maybe it felt a little rushed to them. From what I've heard, like multiple different things. I don't know, I liked it. We're getting a second season. Um I liked how in season one there you know there wasn't a character addition but that wasn't actually revealed until their actual like appearance in the show oh yeah the last girl yeah and it was fascinating well obviously and that's rem too so yeah, that wasn't expected that she lived like uh you know hidden for all that time it was it's fascinating because they kept her out of the main cast list at the start of the show and they added her into the cast as soon as her actual appearance in the show happened but she was there the entire time just nobody even think you know thought about it like who is that character because nobody just like it's like they didn't get put into the forefront until later on and then it's just like oh yeah here's a new cast edition it's like it was good i might i might see the second season i mean i watched the first i might as well watch the second Trigger Apple Fairy Tale Part 2. I watched the first part and I really love the art style in this show. It's just like there's just something to it. It has that like fairy tale like feel to it. The art style is like that kind of fairy tale like feel. Um, this is more like on the romance side, adventure fantasy. I watched okay. part one. This is an un this is a needed second core to that. Um I loved it. It's essentially a world where there's discrimination against fairies. Like these fairy creatures are kind of more or less enslaved and used to either fight or used as assistants um, for multiple things. The main character is a confectionery artist, like sugar confectionery, and essentially makes like art out of sugar. Yeah, and you can see, like, even from the picture, it's really colorful and it has, like, that kind of, you know, fairy tale like feel. Kind of like Cinderella type vibes, but not like Cinderella, you know, you know what I mean? I know you you might not watch this because, you know, yeah, you didn't. Not... But I'm looking forward to this. I'm, I'm looking forward to part two of this. This has been a really, really just, like, nice show. I've been enjoying, like, the art style, the opening. I love the opening, so enough said. Don't need to even look at a trailer or anything. Let's just move on to the next. Temple. Weird looking picture. Gecko Studios. Comedy drama etchy. Oh god. <laughs> those, those three tags. I know. I'll become a monk. A com Akagami Akamitsu has spent his days and nights absorbed in studying and part-time work in an effort to distance himself from the Fez family, which is notorious as a household of philan philanderers? philanderers. One day, he falls in love at first sight with a girl named Ayoba Yuzuki, and suddenly is constantly drowning in worldly desires. Hoping to fight back against his genes and live a more stoic life, he enters a temple, only to find out that it's covenant filled with gorgeous girls. 
So begins a new rom-com about the temple life of three adorable triplets and two beautiful freeloaders. Oh. That's, the, that's where the yeah, edge comes in. Yeah, I don't I don't know what to say about it either. Uh <laughs> well, let's take a look at the trailer. Alright, temple official trailer. Let's go. No one can live on loneliness. An older style art style. It's good though. Oh. The VA is not someone I recognize. He has like more of a manly like voice. Hmm. Hmm. I'm waiting for it. I'm just waiting for them to put the edgy in here. Oh, yeah. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Well, <laughs> it seems like it's going to be fun to watch. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to also say this will be on my do I if I have time to watch it kind of thing. Hmm? In my case, it's going to also be on my if I have time to watch it kind of thing. Um, just mainly because pure breaded etchy i've just kind of grown a little further away from mm -hmm. uh, I, I totally feel you on not that. that i hate it it's just yeah it's a little less than desirable nowadays in so, in a lot of cases unless there's more than just the etchy elements which you know i could still give it a shot um like there's one this season called like like goddesses of the terrace or whatever and it's it has the same like etchy feel to it for the most part um i haven't really i i started watching it and i haven't continued it past like episode one <laughs> and that's mainly because hey it's oh, it, I, get it. It, I keep pushing it off so th this might end up being that case for me but maybe i'll give it a shot if i have time so all right, Okashi Natensei, Synergy SP, Action Fantasy. Okay, a boy named Pastry. Okay, hi Pastry. Uh, is set to become the next Lord of the Destitute Dominion of Mortain. I that is a very that's a lot of D's there. Um, he's known for having remarkable talent for his age, and it just so happens he was a genius pastry chef with a promising future in his previous life. Uh, he still retains his determination to make sweets that will make everyone smile, even after reincarnated as pastry. But many challenges stand before him, including bandits attacking his domain, malicious and eccentric nobles, and an unfortunate financial situation, and land so barren that even water is scarce. The only weapons he has to fight with them are his own ingenuity and love for making sweets. Can pastry succeed in bringing happiness to the land? Okay. <laughs> well, this this sounds like your ally, like on your alley. I actually don't know. But you saw the potion one, so you might want to see this one. I did do the potion one, um, and I have to say, that was probably really one of the most the not most like animes where I'm just like, I'm just gonna get through this. The bookworm one, you saw it too. You also. The bookworm was good. The pharmacist one was good. Um, I know this one there is. We have one. It's, it's that one's just a power fantasy though. The the one where a guy is reincarnated as a aristocrat, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm not wondering. I'm I'm not sure how interested in I am as a guy reincarnated 
and doing pastry chef. Oh, you can see that it's not only of making. Well, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Like, even the guy that made a laundromat is great. I don't know about this one, though. Yeah, even I have my limits here. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on the if I have time and I feel like I don't want to watch something list. <laughs> you might end up having fun, but you might end up getting diabetes out of it. I mean, if they show like recipes, maybe it would be interesting. True. Yeah, like you'd be like, all right, so this is how we make uh, souffle. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna teach that there, but, <laughs> but hey, it it's probably a nice little cute show about making pastries. But I think we're hitting some of the the, uh, the a lot of the more skid ones because the more further we go down, the less popular they are. Mm -hmm. All right, Seija uh, Muso Salary Man Isekai. <laughs> De Iken no Kuru Tame ni Ayumu Michi Cloudheart Studios. I never heard of it. Um, we know it's Isekai, it's in the name. Adventure comedy. Can former salary man become peerless in another world? The salary man was shot to death. Oh, that's different. Shot to death. Just before earning a promotion, and a god decided to reincarnate him in another world as a 15-year-old healer named Luciel. On top of all that, the country was born into seems to hate healers. Feeling that he's in danger. <laughs> Why would a god do that? That's cruel, man. He gets shot to death. You reincarnate him, and you reincarnate him in a place that he's hated. They hate you, yeah. Why would you do that to somebody? Feeling that he's in danger. I'm in danger. <laughs> Lucille visits the Adventurer's Guild in hopes of keeping himself safe. But the training is much harder than he expected. Every day he's forced to drink a mysterious beverage called Substance X. Wait, this life doesn't seem to have anything to deal with being a healer. The day-to-day -day life of a super masochistic back from the dead healer begins with his very survival on the line. Masochistic? What? I I don't know what to say about this one. That's the first I've heard of it. Yeah. Ah, uh, I might be curious as to see as how he does on a place that everybody hates the healer more like um, the Rising of the Shield hero where everybody hated him. So it might be something similar to that. That god is cruel, though. Hey, we know you just got shot to death. Yeah, we're going to reincarnate you as a healer. Oh, oh, but the society people hate you. Well, maybe he has a job to do to change people over there, so. Yeah, maybe. Oh, so it's a popular manga. Maybe so. Not a fan of the art. Dragon. The wagon. いかにも裏方だけど、目指すは中心の仕事を直接もらえそうな。冒険者ギルド、ようこそ。人から美獣地から逃げ出すなよ。こっちの世界にもブラックってあるの？いや、amazing <笑> Wait, why would healers and adventurers not get along, though? Because uh, they can choose whether to heal or not. I mean... 
It's better to at least have a healer than not, though. Did you have a healer that doesn't want to heal you? Hmm. Your party? Maybe so. But, like... I mean, does it matter either way, though? If you didn't have a healer and you need a healer, if you do have a healer, at least you have a chance of being healed. Because you're essentially... You're going in there with maybe potentially glass cannons. We'll have to find out how it goes. Why people hate these healers. Something must have to happen. Alright, next up. Madhouse Studios! Madhouse, yes. yes. Um, I know Idenshi Drama Psychological. Humanity's dream. Crystal humanoid technology. They have illnesses just like humans, but treatment options are quite different. Troubled eyes band together and the new doctor at the facility. Is that AI? It might be AI's band. Uh, the new doctor at the facility. Pseudo bears witness. That tells me nothing at all. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I don't think it says anything. The picture doesn't really say much either. Okay, well, I think I have a trailer for this. It's either I or I, I no identity. Let's go. Oh, futuristic city, huh? Hmm. Oh. Okay. Hmm. So people are like robots then? Androids? I don't know if it's everybody or if it's just like select people. Mm. Ajimeoka. Oh. You can tell that one's a robot. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not sure. I don't know what to make out of it. It was a little bit confusing. Yeah. I'm not like per se in, you know, dislike in the I want to watch this kind of field for this one either. And I, and I think that's because the lower we're getting, the more, you know, less popular they are. And I think that kind of tells here. Um, It might turn out to be good. It might not be. I know it's Madhouse. And uh, it's kind of hard to tell. It could be one way or the other with it. Yeah, no, I understand what you're saying exactly. It's going to be another one of those if I get the time, because there, there's plenty of others I prefer to watch than this right now. Ayaka. Now, this is one I'm a bit more interested in. I'm surprised it's so low. Um, Studio Blonde. Um, I've heard some things about this. I'm, I'm a little interested to see where this is going to go. It just has an action tab. Studio Blanc. The story follows Yukito Yanagi, an orphan who one day encounters an eccentric disciple of his father's. The strange man takes him to his birthplace on Ayakajima, made up of seven islands, where the mysterious beings called Mitama and dragons are rumored to reside. There, Yukito meets his father's two other disciples who protect the harmony of Ayakajima, which soon threatens to collapse. What are, you, what are your thoughts on the uh, synopsis? Anything from that? Um, honestly, no, not yet. It's not, I didn't. Uh, do we have a trailer? Yeah. All right, I got official trailer. Oh, I'm not 
This is a uh, original, I think. Yeah. Maybe that's a little bit where I was. It looks very good. Ooh. The guy with the gun. <laughs> is that a guy or a girl? I don't know. It might have been. It could be neither one, I guess. Can't discriminate. Mm -hmm. uh. Nowadays, you don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's looking, it's looking and, it's looking interesting. Story of um... bonds and wounds. A beautiful and tragic story. Looks like it's action based, so I'm gonna give it a try. Yeah. I thought it looked a little interesting, and I think it, it, from what it says, it might be an original anime, so it's not like there's I'm anything to back it. it. I'm not gonna watch it because of all those beautiful people that we saw. It's just I'm really curious about how it's gonna go. Surprised it was so low on here. It might, it might not be that popular yet, so, you know. It's an original one, so I don't think it's, you know. I, I'm gonna just probably say it. We can look at this one, but I'm, just the art style here already is just like, yeah. <laughs> Silver Link Blade Studio combo. Level 1 Mao to 1 Room Yusha. So something like level 1 Overlord to 1 Room Hero? Yeah. That's what it sounds like to me, right? After his embarrassing defeat at the hands of the Brave Hero, the Demon Lord is back and ready for revenge. But after 10 years apart, the hero, Max, isn't the dashing do-gooder the Demon Lord remembers. In fact, Max has turned into a shut-in slob with no interest in an epic rematch. Can the Demon Lord whip his former nemesis back into shape? Or will he be defeated by the hero-turned-couch-potato once again and join him in his lazy life? I, I don't know how it's gonna be, but... The Demon Lord is... The Demon Lord is defeated by the hero. The hero becomes a slob. They try to come back for a rematch and it's not interested. That's essentially what it is. He became a shut-in. I could see that being a case for a hero after like doing that. It's like, what else do you do now? What your your entire motivation's mm -hmm. gone. I, I've seen it happen on a few other animes where after they defeat the bad guy, they just don't know or have anything else to do. It's like, well, what do I do now? Mm -hmm. I think I think like that guy that uh, the hero that joined a appliance store. I don't know if you've seen that anime. Yes, I started watching it. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's an older one, too. Yeah. Yeah, they defeated the the bad guy, so um, he didn't have anything else to do. Doesn't the daughter of the of the guy who started working there? Yeah, the daughter of the demon lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Ah, uh, the hero in his former glory. And the Demon Lord. It's made of the classic art. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well. Interesting. Is all I have to say to that. Yeah, I got nothing to say too, so. Um, another that's not gonna necessarily be like on my immediate radar. It's just gonna, it's just how it is, how it be. Mm -hmm. Well. Maybe once it airs up, people will make some videos of it and we'll see if it's good or not, so... Yeah. You never know. It might be good. Alright. Did Nuality Noir. This is a mecha sci-fi. Okay. Yeah. Well... 8-bit studio. It's pretty general that a lot of mecha anime are down this low, I suppose. Um... Except for things like The Witch of Mercury, which was very popular this season and everything, and, and like past seasons, if you've heard of Witch of Mercury. Um, or even uh, the other one. Not on the top of my head, but I haven't watched either one. 
Um, I'm in I'm more interested in watching some of the one of those though because it's pretty popular and I kind of want to see what's up on those. Um, but here's another one. This is Mega Sci-Fi. Here is 20 2222. Uh, it's been years since Tears of the New Moon, a mysterious rain poured and wiped out almost the entire human race. The poisonous rain gave birth to deformed creatures, devouring humans and humanity fled from danger as a means for survival. The humans then build an underground haven, uh, Macia, in this newly built dystopian city. In pursuit of maintaining their existence, they run into artificial intelligence named Magus, not knowing how things work between them, the story of humans. Yeah. Sounds like a mecha anime, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, and generally, and apparently, this is a source from a video game. So this is based off a video game called Sid Duality Noir. Um, probably not gonna bring the trailer up. I don't know if there's really a big point. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, no, uh, but I mean, it might end up being a good one. I've seen a few mecha animes that end up being good. So yeah. You just have to wait and see exactly see what people think first for this kind of thing the lower you get that's kind of how it is uh bang dream it's my go yeah they this is a like band type style anime um i don't know i haven't been well they haven't really had a series and i've watched quite a few of the series i don't know if i'm completely caught up on them i kind of just it's on the forefront or whatever um not much to say here just you know Band type anime. Uh, Card Vibe Vanguard, Will Dress Season 3. I'll definitely be watching that because I like Vanguard. And I've been watching it all up to this point. I think, do you, did you ever play Vanguard like before with us? I can't remember. I've been there, but I've never played it. Yeah, they, uh, they've been having an anime. This is season three of the anime. Um, well, this is season three of this. There's more than this, but, and then there's other series and whatever. But it's still going strong. Yeah, that's how it is. I've already watched it. I'm going to continue uh, doing that. And one the last one. Um, Shadowverse Flame. Yeah, that's, you know, based off the Shadowverse card game as well. I'm also watching that. So that's how it, that's how it be. I think it's pretty much. Two card games back to get back. Yeah, more card games. There is a um, the OVA for... Um, I don't know when in 2023 it says it here for this season, but there's an OVA for the quintuplets. Yeah, um, I can see it right there. Yeah, there's the OVA for that. There's uh, Fate Strange Fake. Yeah, there's another Fate style thing. Uh, an adaptation of that. That's just like an episode one long or something. So we've gone through 34 plus anime. <laughs> what are your overall thoughts? Quite a few you're gonna watch. Well, right. I'm mostly looking forward to uh, rent a girlfriend. Um, obviously, just for completion, I want to see what happens. Yeah. Um, some 100 seems like it's interesting. Uh, guy, um, trying to fulfill his bucket list in the midst of a zombie apocalypse, so it might be interesting. Of course, Mushoku Tensei. I'm waiting for it. Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good too um and liar liar of course i can't leave that one out i'm looking forward to yeah like jujutsu kaisen bushoku um bleach part two i'm really looking forward to bleach part two i'm so i'm so upset mm -hmm. um i'm looking forward to see the new girl and rent a girlfriend yeah um who else is there uh reign of the seven blades yeah liar liar there's some there's some pretty good ones and some you know one yeah, some that I that I definitely gonna give a watch. There's some that I'm gonna be like, mm, when I have time, I'll give it a watch. Yeah, and of course, horror Mia piece. So you know, we got some horror Mia, you know. Um, yeah, and that horror one too. I'm watching that one. Oh yeah, the Dark Gathering. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I think this essentially wraps up the uh, summer anime look at right. Yeah, um, this being the list of all the up upcoming uh animes for now until uh until fall comes eventually mm -hmm. but yeah this is this is pretty much what's gonna be coming out we have quite a few things to watch and catch up so it's gonna be a fun season so i think with that we'll uh we'll call the uh call the video here <laughs>
All right, guys, it's been fun. You guys take care out there. Leave a comment on this guy's uh, YouTube. Leave, let them know what animes are you looking forward to watch or what are you looking forward to come on the, on the next season? Yeah, you heard the guy. And if he has anything, if he has any social media he wants to share, I'll have it in the description below as well. So you can go over there and cancel him for all yeah, uh, <laughs> for the Ruka stands in uh, in Rent a Girlfriend, you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you guys all for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next anime look at. If he if he wants to join me again, he can. If he doesn't, it's you know it's fine either way. Uh, but it it was it was fun. Uh, Fun having the conversation over the new anime with somebody a little different. So, thank you for having me, and it's been fun. Bye bye, guys. Thank you for joining me again, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.